Hi, welcome to my channel. Today, let's talk about how we can use unit tasks with Unity Addressable. Addressable is an Unity system that allows us to load assets from your local application or content delivery network. And whenever you hear that you're going to use an I.O. operation such as Addressable, the first thing that comes to your mind is using Unity tasks. Although the Unity manuals instructs us to use the Coroutine approach to handle a recipe. Personally, I think the Unity task is a better approach or a similar way. For some reasons, first, it is going to return a value which makes our code much cleaner because when you're using Coroutine, you have to assign the reference to somewhere else. And by providing the return value, we can actually isolate the method from external logic. The second thing is that the Asina ways approach gives us much readable code. Now, let's start jump right into the code. In here, I have a method called getGameObject, which is an Asin method, and it's going to return an unit task. First, I'm going to initialize an Asin operation handle object. And I'm going to use addressable dot load access Asin, which have a type of game object. And I'm going to pass the access reference, which is the queue. And as you can see, the Asin operation handles actually provide us with a task, which can return a task. You can see right here. And to convert it to unit task, I will use the as unit task extension method. Let's take a look. So unit task has provided us with an extension method for helping us convert the, the normal C# -sharp task to unit task. So the reason that you should use unit task instead of normal C# -sharp task is it's run on a stack unlike normal c sharp tasks running on a heap and the second thing is that unit tasks run on the unity play loop system which run perfectly fine on webgl build and if you have some experience you will find out that normal c sharp tasks don't actually perform quite well on that platform now let's go back I'm going to await for that operation to be finished and it's going to return a type of game object and I'm going to return that resource. In the start methods, I'm going to pass the reference to a game object I will call it resource and I will do that by awaiting the get objects method to be finished. Then I'm going to initiate the resource. Let's take a look at the editor. In the editor, I will create a sample addressable object. I will use create 3D objects. I'm going to create a queue. I'm going to reset, transform, and I'm going to create a free file for me. Next, I'm going to click the addressable in the main camera. I will assign the access to the view. Now, I'm going to delete the objects from the scene. Let's run it. As you can see, it's already initialized a queue right here for it. Now, we're going to write an attention method to help us get in the assets which have been loaded from the addressable system from anywhere that we like. I'm going to call it. the addressable unit task attention and I just want to say that you can call it anything that you like for me that is my chosen name and I'm gonna create an attention method I will call it Get game object, which 
gonna extend from the access reference. Now, I'm gonna copy all this kind of logic here, and I'm gonna paste this here. Instead of the little reference, I'm gonna pass the access reference here, and I'm gonna ask the async keyword. And then I'm gonna return the resource. There you go. So I can delete this method and I'm gonna call q dot get game object. There you go. And I think the logic will stay the same. Let's take a look. In in the editor, the display. As you can see, the queue is being instantiated right here. Before we continue, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. I will really appreciate that. Now, when I was working on the content of this video, I come up with a repository called Access Management by Drew True. Forgive me if I now it's wrong and it's basically is a way to convert UT addressable using a single weight and it has a bunch of method here the links of the package will be down in the descriptions and I think you should take a look if you guys want me to make a tutorial about this access and I will research it and come up with a new video about it. Thank you for watching.